Do you get confused about using apostrophes? Apostrophes don't have to be scary. I'm going to show you the two times you should use apostrophes. If an apostrophe is used in the wrong place, it can change the meaning of the sentence. There are only two times we need to use apostrophes, in contractions or to show possession. A contraction is two words that have been put together to make one word and a letter or several letters has been removed. For example, do not becomes don't. The apostrophe is put in place where the letter has been removed. So in don't, the O was removed from not and the apostrophe goes in its place. Let's have a look at a less common one. Let us becomes let's by removing the U from us and replacing it with an apostrophe. So that's using apostrophes for contractions. Sometimes it might be called omission. Omission means taking something out, which is what you are doing to the letters. The other time we use apostrophes is for possession. When we are talking about something that belongs to someone else, we use an apostrophe to show possession. For example, Eli's cat Pepper keeps taking his slippers. The cat belongs to Eli, so we put an apostrophe after his name to show possession. Here's another example. Pepper's bed was full of slippers. Normally, when using an apostrophe for possession, we put it before the S. The hungry birds circled over the boy's lunch. However, if the word is plural and already ends with an S, we put the apostrophe after the S. The hungry birds circled over the boy's lunch. So that's it. The only two times you need to use apostrophes to show contraction or possession. Have a look at the sentences on the screen and see if you know where the apostrophes should go. Take it to your tutor at your next Tutors United lesson and see how well you did. If you found this video helpful, there are plenty more on our YouTube channel or you can visit us at tutorsunited.org.